um, what I know about floating is that it's sort of just it's a water at a good temperature that, and with a whole lot of minerals that just um, makes you real buoyant and you sort of just float there for a certain amount of time and it just uh, relaxes you and makes you feel good. Uh, I know as a rugby player I wouldn't have ever thought about floating as, um, as any sort of tool in my um, my preparation but I have seen a few players that have tried it and they were rave about it so it was certainly something that I thought it might as well be worth trying. Uh, yeah, when I first jumped in I was still <laughs> kind of sceptical because I'm a bit of a, a sinker so I wasn't sure it was going to uh, Float me normally, but soon enough, soon I, as soon as I jumped in, my legs just pop, pop right up, and I was floating um, like I was on a cloud. So um, yeah, it was pretty easy just to get into a real relaxed state, and then um, you sort of just feel like you're, you're almost. In, I know it's kind of a strange feeling. You don't know how to explain it. You just sort of feel like you're on nothing. Uh, I found out about floating uh, on New Zealand Maori tour last year. Tim Bateman has a he owns a couple down in Christchurch, I think, and um, I'd never heard of them at the time. And he was telling me about his business ideas and stuff, and um, told me about this floating thing and was um, rattling off all the science behind it, and it sounded pretty good. So, give it a crack. I wanted to try floating just because um, coming off a pretty serious injury at the moment, I broke my leg, so um, I'm finding after big, especially big leg days that I have, it's taken me quite a few days to recover from those. So. Um, I wanted to try this and see how it goes. Um, I've had a big leg day today, um, and I was feeling pretty tight and sore going in. Um, but now, I'll, now I feel better than I did before I started my, my workouts this morning. So um, I'm definitely going to have to come back for more. I think it's been brilliant. Yeah, I didn't really know what sensory deprivation was as, as much, but uh, certainly after doing the float, it was like you sort of don't hear anything, you can't see anything. Um, it's just it's just you and your mind and it's um, honestly I don't think there's any way you can relax better than in that moment and I f honestly think everybody should try that because it's <coughs> it's like you know your, your hour where you just get away from absolutely everything and it's just um, as, as relaxed as you, you can ever be I reckon.